Hey everyone, Pastor Rod here. Really excited to keep this this series on Ephesians, being sons and daughters of God. Keep it going, keep it going, because there's just so much more truth. And here we we come to the part where where God says He's got this incredible store of wisdom in the church. And you know, right around the world, there's people railing against the church. But I believe the, the local church. I got saved at 19. And I've always believed in the power of the local church. Let's read what it says here in Ephesians chapter 3, 9 to 11. And to make plain to everyone the administration of this mystery, which for ages past was kept hidden in God and created all things. His intent, God's intent, was that now through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms. It's incredible. God believes in his church. Jesus said to, to, to Peter and the disciples, uh, you're, you're Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail or will not stand up, will not overcome the church. There's an eternal promise, and all through history we've seen the church almost extinguished in country after country, but then there's been flames of revival and just so excited to be in some nations here in Asia where there's been tremendous persecution, but the church has not just survived, but now has thrived. And and it's, it's even here in Japan, when there's such a small uh, number of people who call themselves believers of Jesus, there's there's flames of revival. There's the next generation of Japanese leaders rising up. There's there's I believe in the church. Now this church has tried to be extinguished by the devil, and there's an incredible scripture. That the, the devil doesn't understand a lot of things, and he doesn't understand Jesus, and he doesn't understand the power of the church, and he doesn't understand you and I as sons and daughters of God. He doesn't know why God chose us, God loves us. He doesn't understand why God graced us. The devil doesn't understand who we are. The sad thing is some Christians don't know who they are either. They think they're a slave or under the law. No, no, we are sons of and daughters. We read in Ephesians 1 5 that we, in love, God predestined us to be adopted in as his sons and daughters. And I was just talking to a good friend yesterday and I said, you know, some of your thinking is still like a, a slave where you, you, you're wondering what God is like and is God for you. But no, you're a son and God loves you and you're in his heart and you're in his soul. You're, you're in, his, in his spirit. Let's put it that way. And, and he just started crying and saying, yes, yes, I want to be a son of God. Well, this is the manifold wisdom of God. You are a son of God. You are a daughter of God. The devil doesn't understand it, but we must. Now, listen to this scripture, 1 Corinthians 2, talking about Jesus dying on the cross. It says, none of the rulers of this age understood it, the, the crucifixion. For if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord, Lord of glory. Wow, the devil didn't get the cross. The devil thought he had Jesus. The devil thought he had Jesus dead on the cross. That was the end. The devil had won. But he had no idea. Even with the scriptures and what Jesus had been saying about resurrection, three days, three days, resurrection, even with all that, the powers of darkness didn't understand the plan of God and, and the power of darkness doesn't understand the plan of God over the church or over our lives. He doesn't. That's why we need to read the word, get the plan from God. You know, I just love that scripture in Jeremiah 29, 11, where it's the Lord saying, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for future and, and for good, not for evil. Now, the devil doesn't understand those plans either. So let's listen to the Holy Spirit, read his word, and keep living as sons and daughters of God. This is the manifold wisdom of God for the church and for you and for me. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you enjoyed today's episode with Pastor Rod, why don't you subscribe on whatever platform you are listening to this and we'll see you next time.